ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing I hate more uh, than people being afraid to ask something. And often in World of Warcraft, there are things happening all around you and people are doing stuff and they all seem to be in on it. And you're too afraid to ask. <laughs> you're just like, you don't want to come across as like a noob or an idiot. So you're like, ah, I don't really want to get into this. And uh, the big problem we're all having right now in BFA is gear. Is gear an upgrade? Really hard to tell. Uh, it's actually gotten so strange with some of the things that we're doing with gear right now that it's understandably a little on the tricky side uh, to work out if something's good. And more often than not, especially if you're in a raid team or you're looking as to figure out what to coin, Right? What am I going to coin? Which one do I want to coin this week? Uh, it's figuring out if something's an upgrade and more specifically, like by how much. So often what happens in raids now across the entire spectrum of people is something really cool will drop. So it's like a 450 on Titan Forge, right? It's got a slot with it. Oh, that's juicy. That is a big juicy item. And your raid team might say everybody clamors for it right so let's say we're going to look at rings today because they have a little bit of a twist on how we do things uh but let's say it's a ring so it's a big fat ring big titan forge big gem slot and your raid leader might just go look everybody wants this thing who's it the best for that's all we want to know if we're in a team driven thing so if you're in a guild or something like that that's pushing content obviously if you're all personal loop it doesn't matter uh you can just do whatever you want to do but if you're looking to do something more team based then you might be a case of okay who who gets the most out of this that's all we really want to know uh, and that way we can assign it much easier than having a list of like 13 people who want this thing so one thing we've been running into in my guild especially, and the reason I bring this video up is not because uh, it was like something that was on my mind. It's somebody asked me today. It's like, I don't know how to do what the guys are asking me to do. So I've just been passing on loot when it gets asked. So when the guys like the, the loot council or whatever it might be say something like, uh, okay, can you guys like sim this and just tell us how much of an upgrade it is? They don't know how to do that. So they just pass. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just pass. I think it's an upgrade, but I'm not sure. So I don't know what to do. So that's why we're addressing this today. I'm working on a couple of big projects right now, which you guys should be looking forward to. But let's get this out of the way now. So one thing we're dealing with right now is if you're a jewel crafter, is the 415 rings should be shit now, right? <laughs> they should be shit. But they're not. And they're actually not getting replaced that quickly. In fact, replacing them is becoming obscenely difficult to do. Uh, and people are getting a little annoyed by the fact that one, they're spending, I know one person in my guild spent 4 million gold making his 440 ring because it had to take him so many tries to get it right. Thank you, Blizzard, for that. Uh, but also still wearing these 415s, as I am. Despite the fact that my character has obviously bent the gear screws with item level, it's like 440. I'm still rocking a 415 ring and a 400 trinket. Uh, all these numbers don't make sense in a world where the content I'm doing drops 445 as a base, right? That's something that seems very, very strange. So let's suppose, let's look at it from two angles. The first one I'll come in is let's suppose if we go into our dungeon journal here, uh, we just did Lady Ashvane. Big Lady Ashvane. And the Boralus' noble seal dropped. And it had a socket on it. And it was cool. And everybody wants it. Because it's a big fat ring. And the, the guys say, like, who is it best for? That's all we want to know. Like, we're arguing amongst 13 people or whatever is no good. So we're going to be using uh, raid bots for this. So if you look at SimC, which if you're a raider right now, you're probably getting very used to this system. It makes your life much easier. Um, it's so useful in this world of convoluted gear i believe you me we wish it wasn't this way we really do wish it was dead easy like this isn't something that's a flex to do this it's just it's, it, this is how we do it these days so if you're using simc and if you're not sure about simc it's an add-on that you can install called simulation craft and if you type slash c simc into the game you'll get this window which you can just do Control c and for this we can do all sorts of very cool stuff it's super easy to do i've done a video on my channel of messing around with it a bit more but one thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over to raid bots uh which is uh there we go i'm gonna jump over to raid bots right now and here we have a number of options okay so i'm logged in here i pay i use i sent some dollars to these guys on patreon because i use this thing all the time uh but what we're going to be using is the gear compare okay so if we delete this this is what you guys will be presented with and you have a load from armory if you don't have the simc add-on or you can just go Control v paste it in and this is your exact character this is your character it's that easy it figures it all out straight away good stuff right so your raid leaders just said can you guys sim it and tell me how much of an upgrade it is? 
seems fair seems fair and just and all things nice so how do we do this because this is the what i got asked today is like i have no idea how to do this thing that they're asking about uh so let's check it so first of all you can see down here you just have item name so it's called Boralus. Uh, i'm spelling it wrong of course i am why wouldn't we be the Boralus is noble seal uh what are we going to replace it with well, I want to replace this ring, because this is the one I'm interested in. I, I want to replace finger two. There we go. So I'm going to replace finger two with this ring. What item level is it? It's 445. It had a gem in it. Good luck. Yes. And we're going to gem some haste into that, and we're also going to enchant it with haste, because currently, Moonkid stat weights, don't lose your mind if your stat weights are different to mine. Moonkid stat weights change on a dime. Currently, this is how it is best for me to do things. So I'm just going to now say go. And that's as easy as it is. And you'll also take note here, I don't have this item. I don't need the item to figure this stuff out. So this helps us in a moment when we might look to which one do we want to coin. So I'm going to compare the items. I'm going to run the system, and it's going to do all its magic that it usually does. And it's going to let me know exactly how big of an upgrade this is for me. And it's going to give me, actually, a flat number, uh, which is useful because people will come in saying it's 50. And as you can see there, it's a 245 DPS increase, which is tragically low, by the way. It is tragically low for a 40 item level increase. I know rings go into a weird spot because they have no main, spot, main stat. Thank you. I do, I'm aware of that. But still annoyingly low annoyingly low considering what we're like forty-eight thousand dps right now it's like a 200 dps increase all right sure whatever but now we have a number and now we can let our raid leader know is like actually it's 245 for me now that's cool that's really cool because what i can also do is i can go back and i can say do i want to coin this so let's say i'm like i really want to like replace this 415 ring it's tragic that it's so good how good does one need to be? What about, if we go back here, what about if it dropped, right? If it drops and it doesn't have a, a socket on it? Like, is that something I'm interested in? Should I coin this? Which is the question you probably ask yourself. Is should I coin this? So again, I'm going to say finger two. Now notice with multi, most items, they go into one slot, right? They go into one slot. So a headpiece only has one slot. Rings have two slots. So you do have to be careful to be telling the game which ring you're going to be replacing like they need to know because if you say i want to replace this ring with it it might give you some negative dps answer or something so let's say it's 445 so, but it has no socket so i'm just going to say i've enchanted it with haste uh so what about is it worth me coining it am i going to get some good good information uh for coining this one am i actually going to get a reasonable dps increase the answer is going to be no obviously because sockets are worth so much uh and we just saw that the minor dps gain i was going to get from the other one it's 57 uh <laughs> it's a 57 dps upgrade yikers yikers but now we can start being a little smart about things because we have these coins to do something on and you might even be asking yourself is it worth coining some end game mythic plus because say the rings in there have much better stats right so this would be a situation you might end yourself up in so if we don't jump down to queen ashara we have another ring there the cursed lovers ring all right well let's just run the numbers on that because i'm curious i only have a few items to try and get now I'm kind of feeling good about my Azurite. I'm all, I'm in most good places, but I just want to know what am I coining when I do my fresh clear. And again, you could do it for heroic. You could do it for uh, whatever it's going to be. It doesn't matter. So finger two again. So now I'm doing the Ashara ring. Now, of course, this is a mythic Ashara ring. I understand that, but you get the idea. Uh, so it's 445, but it has no socket and haste. It's just the base ring. Let's have a look at this one and see what we get out of it. And we're kind of just figuring out, and you could do this in multiples of items, but now I'm figuring out, sh should I coin this item? So in the first instance, I showed you it drops in the raid. How can I quickly check if it's an upgrade or how much it's going to give me? 189. 189 eh, eh, you know like for like it's 189 dps increase without a gem slot certainly if it had a gem slot i'd be much more interested in it is it worth a coin eh, you know this is the kind of attitude you come in with because you could also do it with trinkets so if we jump down to abyssal commander savara what about the shiver venom relic in comparison to this item level 400 highborn companion of storms so we, the shiver venom relic should be a dps upgrade all right well let's find the fuck out right why not uh let's figure it out so we'll jump into here and we're gonna say uh the shiver venom should i coin for this thing like how good is it is what i want to know uh so i'm gonna say i'm gonna replace trinket two 
uh, with this item. And it's 445, so it's the base. It didn't drop with a socket, so I just want to know where it stands for me. Uh, so I'm going to use... Is Leviathan's Law and the Shiver Venom Relic better than the one with the Highborn Compendium? Should be, because it's, you know, it's a 45 item level difference, like... One of them I had to kill a mythic boss for. Uh, there you can go. It comes up with 239. Right? And this is how we figure all these things out as to what's going to be the best coins to use. Which is the way I want to go with these items. All that kind of stuff is why we put these pieces together. Now, I've, I imagine some common questions are like, how accurate is SimCraft? It's pretty good. These guys do a really good job. It's the best tool we have. Okay, it's the best tool we have to figure this stuff out. Uh, some items are always a little ropey. If we look at these like benthic items uh, that have a chance to send out droplets which heal or deal damage. So you will find that in like sims, it suggests that they always do damage, which they don't. Sometimes they heal people, right? So, and then if you use certain essences like world veins, you know, if you're trying to figure out what is the best essence for me to use, uh, then you might end up in a situation where it's like, wow, the world vein, for example, is really, really good. I should always use world vein. However, in Sims, they tend to use world vein at like four stacks without getting into too much nitty gritty of configuring it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and you'll find a lot less people actually use the world vein because it doesn't really get to four stacks that often, even when it's depending on the fight. There's lots of variables that come into it, which is why you can now utilize these tools to figure these things out. So I hope that helps you out because there's nothing worse than people being afraid to ask. That's my main point on this. I look forward to uh, some nitty gritty videos that are coming in the next uh, few days there. I hope that helps you guys out. I'll see you again. Bye bye.